What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, again, like always, it's been a while since I posted. I'm going to film today's video on the Osmo Pocket 3, just because I want some low friction content, I guess. I haven't posted in forever. I need a post. But here we are. I do want to do an update video soon, sooner than later. But then, for now, let me show you all. Polished concrete never works trying to get these low car onto these standard ramps, but whatever. Today, I'm going to do plugs, coil packs, and that bad boy right there. I need a bigger intercooler. My IATs are going through the roof lately, and with it being fall even and it being a little cooler out, it's still um pretty high um so might as well just go bigger intercooler than what i have on there and should be a okay so for now i'm just going to move the ramps out of the way get the bricks cleaned up sweep it out a little bit get the car on jack stands uh, at least the front end lifted up and start dismantling some things let's get it the car is up Luckily for the intercooler, the under tray, the under panel is already off. Um, so yeah, got to get to it. Got to get under there. There should just be two bolts. It should be a bolt over here, a bolt over here, underneath on the bottom of the intercooler. Drops a little tray. Then you have the round clamps. You just pull those down with the um, screwdriver or whatever, a pick, just pull those down and then the intercooler should slide right out once you take the charge pipes off of each side, should just slide right out of the bottom. I know it sounds easy, but I believe it's not gonna be as easy as I'm saying <laughs> saying it, but yeah, let's get that uh, thing out of there, so yeah. So as I was saying, there's a T25 right there. There's a T25 on that other end. And then this whole plastic clip right here just slides out. Then you go a little under right there, right? You pull those down. There's This is a charge pipe on this side, the charge pipe on the other side. Pull those down and then literally just pops off, slides out. Whole intercooler should drop. All right, I have the shroud out as you can see. Wear something to cover your eyes. It's going to be caked with dirt and shit. Um, I realize that it's going to be easier for me to access the charge pipes and everything from the bottom. If I just take the fan shroud out. Not hard to do. It's just unbolt this, unbolt that. Um, this cross member comes undone. And then it's like two, like, I think they're like T25s. There's two T25s. There's one right there. One right there. Whole thing pops out. <clears throat> oh, and a disconnection for the harness. Simple shit um, should just pop out fairly easy, and then it'll give you up, oh, give you a whole bunch of room. So it's worth it. Okay, two seconds later. So these ones right here, 16, 16. They connect the strut bars to the front mount, uh, the core support. I mean, then under here. So right here, right here, right here, under there, right there, you see the hole, and you see the hole. Those are 13s, then you pull the tabs out, they look like this, pull these little body panel tabs out, then under there, you have two more 13s, and then same on the other side, two more 13s. Um, once you get all those out, literally this just goes bloop. And it pops right out. If I can get it uncaught, that'd be nice. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Now you have your little top piece out. Now you have access to the fan shroud. And as I said, for the fan, sh the fan shroud, there is a T25 somewhere down here. Boom. And then there's one right 
there. I don't have a light on me. Let's grab a light. Right there. There's a T25 right there. And then, where's it at on the sign? Eh, whatever. But, can't find it. <laughs> but then you just pull this clip out right here, and then the whole fan slides out. Oh, it's supposed to be right there. It's just not right there. <laughs> so, yeah. Then the whole fan shroud pops out. Easy peasy. And now that that is out, look how much room we got. We can get to the charge pipe right there. Charge pipe right there. Wiggle that tiny little intercooler out and fit the big old mamma jamma in here. So let's get after it. <laughs> after an hour, the new intercooler is in. It is down there. Uh, I end up taking off the charge pipes completely, as you can see loose and then down here just disconnected it just so it was easier <clears throat> but yeah now it's time to jiggle around and figure this out try to get them back on it's not the biggest deal but these are a pain in the ass to get back on but no choice but to do it so let's get after it all right it's all in buttoned up uh, the intercooler is in. Um, I'm going to spare you guys the boring part. I'm going to put the fan back in. The core support back up. And the strut supports back in. And then we'll look to see if we're actually going to tackle the spark plugs and coil packs. Excuse me. <laughs> and spark plugs and coil packs today. If not, I'll do it another time and that would just be a whole nother video. Um, but yeah, so let's get to it. Car is on the ground outside. Time to flash a new tune since I have the <coughs> upgraded intercooler. So I already have the MHD plugged in. Turn the music down. No copyright in this bit. Okay, so typically when you flash this for the first time, you should be on a like a trickle charger. Um, but usually this only takes about a minute, so it's fine to do it in auxiliary. Since I have already down pipes and a front mount, you know what I mean? I'm going to do 91, actually. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm going to do 91 just for funsies. Um... Later on, maybe I'll go and fill up on 93 and try it. But this is the only settings you should have if <laughs> you own a BMW. Long overrun brap. Aggressiveness OEM style. Right? And that's it. No, no cold start noise reduction. Because that sometimes throws your car into limp mode. I don't know why. It's not just my car that does it. I've read online. It's a whole bunch of people. Especially up here in the Midwest when it gets really cold. Um, and then the startup roar. That's just annoying. So don't do, don't do any of that shit. But. Let's see. Let me put that back to like. Boom. Just a little bit of burble. That's all you need. And then map right. <laughs> gonna flash all these signs. Don't even worry about that. I'm a little stuffed up because of all the debris that was underneath the car. Like all the stuff that was underneath the car when I took the intercooler off that dropped and it all got in my face. Luckily I had glasses on, so it wasn't a big deal. See, 15 seconds. Already complete. Clearing codes. Boom. There you go. Now you just 25 seconds flash. Update a tune. I'll do. I don't have a gapper 
a spark plug gap, gap uh can't speak right now i don't have a spark plug gapper so i'm not going to do spark plugs right now and there's no point of changing the ignition coils if i'm not doing my spark plugs right now that's just a lot of work for nothing so um next video i'll do both of those um and yeah that's pretty much it and then i'll go run logs in a little bit and then i'll check them on uh data zap and make sure everything's all good all nice and peachy but that'll probably be it for today's video i just wanted to post something that's why i'm using the osmo pocket i was doing something on the car might as well just film a little bit of it wasn't a lot um but yeah probably gonna give this car a wash tonight as well because yeah it's dirty it's been a while so yeah thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe and, <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully sooner than the last couple that I've been doing, which is like three months spread. And so, see you guys. <laughs> well, I go to do a pull and I think I snapped an axle. I think an axle left the chat. It would be the passenger side rear that left the chat, but uh, minor things. I guess this is what happens when you make power, but cool.